What's up, family? How we feeling? Back for another video. Excited to be back here in my home now. A little bit different from the training video. We're gonna have some fun today with a Q and A. Um, gonna answer some questions and get real intimate with you guys. You know, let you guys know where my mindset is about a month after the Olympia. Now, what my future plans are this year. Thank you guys for just you know firing away with the questions. And I asked you guys on my stories, and uh, you guys you did not uh, disappoint in just uh, letting it all hang out. The first question um, from Gabo. What's my off-season training split versus in prep like? So for in prep, you know, my rest periods are a minute or less between sets. We're just going and going and going and going. And that's to get a specific look to the muscle. That's to get a specific conditioning look to the muscle, to the muscle, a specific pop to the muscle and a specific refinement to the muscle that um, that we need, you know, um, we want to have on stage to kind of set ourselves apart from the rest of the competitors. Uh, so th I think that's the difference in prep. I would use, I would do a little bit more drop sets, uh, go to failure a little bit more versus off season. Not so much of any of that, you know, any and all of that. Maybe keep the set straight up 12 to 20 reps, um, you know, pyramid our way up three to four sets and then go on our merry way off season probably the exercises probably going to increase and if in prep your rest periods are low right you can fit more exercises in there during the off season we're taking a little bit longer rest periods our exercises for each body part is probably going to decrease a little bit and maybe focus a little bit more on pyramiding up with the weight jotting down you know how much we're able to get with the weight and kind of continue to go up, increasing the weight. All right, on to the next one. Okay, we have one from the Godfather <laughs> himself, Abdul Madal 2000. All right, Abdul Madal asks, how you remain so fit? I mean, not a little fat on your side handles, but continuing to eat sweet things. <laughs> well, definitely have fat on my side handles, on my love handles, uh, for sure. Uh, my weight is around 209 right now, so I'm not doing bad. Uh, we're trying to, we're gonna try to get this down to around 200, even sub 200 before we even go into prep this year, which is gonna be different from the from years past, and which is gonna give us a better look. But I'll go into that maybe in another video um, on the plan of attack for this year's Olympia. Anyway, get back, getting back to the question. Let's not get it twisted, guys. We know that nobody can eat sweets right 24 7 and sit on their ass and stay lean <laughs> okay so when you see me eating the sweets i'm definitely earning the sweets okay so i'm training hard doing a little cardio at the same time offsetting some of those calories it's not an everyday thing now i'm on a program to where i'm eating clean monday through friday and then i can snack and maybe have a cheat meal or two on saturday and sunday so that's the plan in this off season uh, and still, and still, shed some weight, get leaner, um, all at the at the same time. Earn the pancakes, <laughs> and they won't be protein pancakes. Um, on the weekends, we're going to be eating those regular things, those regular pancakes, those uh, flavor-filled pancakes. Uh, so that's the secret, um, and that's that's not a secret, right? Nobody's going to be able to stay lean, guys, without dieting. Uh, for you know for for most of the time the, the good percentage of the time and uh, Being strict with the regimen for the bigger percentage of the time keep eating clean out there and earn it uh, When you're ready to cheat and uh, eat your sweets <laughs> For sure All right next one From uh, Retum Bernardi, what are the best supplement stack for muscular uh, growth and for bulking, period? Uh, the best supplement stack, I'm going to say uh, maybe uh, a carb source for muscle growth and for bulking, period. I'm going to say a carb source, like a carboline. HD has a carb source, okay? has a carb product, which is excellent. Best ingredients on the as far as all the supplement brands out there are concerned. Mixed in with a good protein. HD has a good, a great protein out there, an isolate, 
good uh, aminos that, that you're drinking while you're training. Um, you know, so you can make sure you are getting in all your essential amino acids while you're training and while you're while you're looking to to remain anabolic and and uh, you know have the the best stimulation for your muscle cells as possible. So I would say three of those and now along with all of that let's not forget all the food that's not in in place of the food that is uh in conjunction with you have to increase your calories you maybe you know continue to go up week by week by week by week you have to be careful because you don't want to just you don't want to force feed too much to where you're always lethargic and you're not you don't want to be full while you're training you know because then the blood is going to the stomach and trying to break the food down without uh you know versus what you want it to do the blood going to the muscles all right so you gotta uh, have a good feel for your body's metabolism a good feel for your digestive system a good feel for your uh for breaking down the food and what you're feeling like uh, while eating more food and pushing the food a little bit right so food first then the supplementation all right next one this is a good one from uh, Adi Hams, Adi Adil Ham 7 asked, uh, will I stay in classic and what improvements am I going to make? Yes, I'll be in classic this year. If they don't increase the weight class, guys, uh, after this year, uh, this will probably be my last year in classic and I will move to the 212 because it's all about growth and it's all about getting better and it's all about improving, right? From year to year to year. And you can only do so much when you are, unless you're, you know, I'm not, I don't have the same luxury as some of the other competitors to where I have it. They're, they're starting underneath the weight cap. They haven't even hit the full capacity of the weight cap yet. So they're continuing to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and be lean underneath their weight cap to where I'm, I, I'm easily 20, 30, 40 pounds over my weight cap and I have to come down and make it, right? So that's the difference there. And uh, when you're in my shoes, there's only so much growth uh, and improvements you can do yet. And still this year, I can make a lot of improvements. The first thing is conditioning wise. We are gonna be much more shredded and much more uh, in shape and much more crisp and um, sharp. We're gonna achieve this by um, starting at a lower weight. I've already put on enough muscle from last year, from the past couple years. So the main two things is uh, what we're going to change is we are going to uh, decrease all the cardio by starting lower, right? Decrease all the cardio that I have to do to, to get in shape and to make weight. And then we're going to keep the food high. Yes, we're going to keep the food high, decrease the cardio. And the conditioning is going to be a thousand times better. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and answer a couple more here. Is it difficult after the O oh, to stay cheerful? This is from Baltimore Poppy. <laughs> Baltimore Poppy Chulo. Absolutely. Right after the right after the show, it's very difficult to be cheerful and to, you know, to smile and to uh, be okay with the placing when you when it's not the one you want. Um, uh, but you know, after after the emotions um, you know, settle down and you get to thinking about how grateful I am and blessed I am to have the support of you guys. Um, and to still be number three in the world, that's not too bad. Um, and, and also what kept me going, what's keeping me going, guys, aside from you also, the fact that I, can, I, I still know that I, I can improve, I can attain uh, an, an a thousand times better physique up there, which, uh, which is, I'm, I'm very excited about, which I'm very excited about, and I'm sure that I will do it this year. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. I can't wait to see it either. Trust me. Um, so the Olympia can't come soon enough this year for me to display that and uh, for me to hit on all cylinders. I haven't hit on all cylinders yet, guys, at an Olympia. That includes the, the wins uh, and the losses. I haven't hit on all cylinders um, like I wanted, like I, like I have wanted to. So uh, it's encouraging to know that um, we have some set uh, concrete uh, goals in place and some uh, methods in place that we're going to go about this year that we're, we're pretty confident in um, to achieve that, to achieve that 
look and to um, to get another title. That's that's what we're working for for sure to get a third one. All right, so I'm pretty confident in it. And um, man, again, I can't wait for you guys to to see this look. Uh, it's going to be something special. It's going to be something spectacular. All right. All right. Let's answer one more. Let's answer one more. By the way, earn your pancakes, shirts, guys, coming out soon. Um, any day now, any week now, earn your pancake shirts. We got black, we got red, and uh, we're starting off with these two colors and uh, just going to have them available for you guys. And uh, we're just gonna have fun with this, you know. You know, this is just we love to do this, and we love to say it. We love to uh, put the work in and earn our pancakes, and we love to definitely. Who doesn't love pancakes out there? Who doesn't love to eat pancakes? And who doesn't love to celebrate their hard work uh, with some good old uh, fluffy, spongy, uh, delicious pancakes? <laughs> right? Let's see, Russell Vulcan Weasel. Have you ever been injured? And what advice would you give to a younger version of yourself? Um, no, I haven't had any major injuries. I do have some nagging injuries from uh, football, um, you know, a football injury. I tore my ACL in high school and I battled it through, you know, college and, and, and I've been battling it, by, you know, for, for all the years leading up to this point uh, and, and definitely with uh, bodybuilding. Uh, so then I have, I have a knee here, a right knee. I have, um, you know, sometimes I get a little tendonitis in my elbow uh, and in my arm here, you know, um, where the uh, forearm here and the, and the uh, bicep meet, the brachialis. For the most part, no major injuries. Uh, and I will let you guys know this, which is very, very important. If it wasn't for me being pretty agile and athletic and, and me stretching every day, uh, as I would have more injuries. That's for sure. I would have some injuries to, to tell you about. And I don't know if I'd be here still bodybuilding because who knows, you know, in this game, you know, those injuries uh, can be uh, detrimental to a career. Maybe about maybe six or seven times, guys, over the past three or four years, I have tweaked, a, uh, you know, done an, been doing an exercise and felt a tweak in, the, in, in an area. And then, you know, I stop for a moment and just kind of just walk it off, move it around, shake it around and walk it off. And then it's it's gone, you know, it's better uh, right away. Had I not been uh, agile, had I not stretched every day, that definitely could have been all she wrote. So what do you think that encouraged me to do more of? More stretching, maybe even increase it to two times a day, <laughs> okay? Um, but definitely get, make sure I get my one time a day in uh, of stretching. Very, very important. And guys, don't forget stretching, right? And taking advantage of lengthening the muscle. It helps build your muscle. Brings more oxygen to the muscle. Brings more uh, circulation to the muscle, right? Which helps with muscle growth, man. And so the second part of that question was, and what advice would I give to a younger version of myself? I definitely would have started stretching earlier. Okay, I always haven't been. Maybe the, th maybe the last, what, three, four years I started uh, doing that and taking that seriously and being more focused and disciplined, you know, with that. So that's that's one thing. Let's see. What's another major thing? There's a version of there's a younger version of myself that uh, was before bodybuilding, and there's a younger version of myself when I started bodybuilding. So I'll I'll talk about both of those actually. All right, I'll talk about both of them. The younger version of myself before bodybuilding. I would have probably been more mindful of my academics for sure. I would have probably even applied myself a lot better and a lot more. Everything that I got myself into and everything that I was doing, I wish that I understood how much it would have, would have affected my later self. Your character, your work ethic, your, your um, ability to be tenacious, your ability to be disciplined affect the later years, right? Later 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. All you younger guys out there, uh, take seriously what you're doing now in your younger years because it will affect. It will affect, you know, what your life is like and your quality of life uh, is like uh, in your later years. And the good thing about it is that you have all full control of it. 
You have full control of it. You can uh, take it seriously now, be disciplined, with whatever, you're, whatever you get involved in. Be disciplined with it, take it serious now, be passionate about it, and reap the benefits. Be proud of it because you will have those moments, I guarantee you. You focus now, you will have those moments later on, years down the line, when you, when you have an epiphany and you're like, man, I'm so glad I did this you know, uh, in previous years. I'm so glad I paid attention to this. I'm so glad I, I worked hard on this in previous years. You will have that realization in, in uh, you know, in future years, guaranteed, guaranteed. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. All right, so my younger bodybuilding years, which was in 2010, 11, 12, younger bodybuilding years, what, what would I have done different? Not taking for granted how important the diet is, I think that if I would have uh, competed in 2014 as a 212 competitor leaner, then that would have maybe, um, if I was leaner and more conditioned and I placed better because of it, that would have changed maybe the trajectory of my career path. Um, not saying that I wouldn't be doing classic, but you know, the maturity of the muscle, you know, the maturity of the muscle in years that you're, you're lean and you're, you build that you build on that leanness, you build on that condition, you build and build and build on it. That provides such a gnarly, because look what I'm saying now. I could, I could have been in more better condition than last year. So from, you know, years of, of being, of, of taking the diet seriously, years of staying tighter a little bit and not, you know, letting the weight get a little bit out of control, you know, the maturity and the skin and the, uh, the 3D, um, aspect of the muscle would probably, you know, might look better or might look different. Um, this, the, you know, uh, at this juncture. So yeah, taking the diet, I would have taken the diet a little bit serious, uh, more, a little bit more serious, uh, and not rely on my work ethic as much, uh, you know, to get, um, to get in shape. I would have probably focus on all the, the, the details a little bit more cause we can always do better. Details uh, I'm talking about with training. Details with I'm talking about with posing. I'm talking about with an idea of how I want to display uh, my body because now you know I've been so blessed enough to have to develop a brand and the, everything that you do you know encompasses that brand. Everything that you do, people think about the things that you do when they think about Brian Anzi, when they think about um, you know the Black Swan, they're thinking about all the things that are kind of your. Uh, trademarks, all the things that, you know, stand out and that are different from the rest. So just think about as you're moving up, right? Think about being different, thinking about, thinking about being more creative, thinking about um, maybe, you know, when people go high, you go low. When people go left, you go right. Um, and I think that's important to highlight for sure. Um, also that I wish I would have done social media. I wish I would have done social media and been more put myself out there on social media more, building myself on social media more, been more active on social media more. 2012 was right where I'm when I started uh, bodybuilding. That was my first show, 2012. So I wish right then and there that I would have started ver being very active um, with social media. All right. And those of you guys who maybe, you know, are, are afraid or, or, you know, are a little hesitant to put yourself out there, guys, because you think that it might be uh, silly or something. Man, nothing is silly on social media in these days, um, especially if you're doing something that's concrete and you're doing something that's uh, of value and you're putting information out there or you're putting your training out there, uh, you're putting things that you're passionate about out there, you know, don't feel a certain way about it. Put it out there, continue to work it, continue to cultivate it, continue to, to, to let it grow because it is um, uh, very beneficial. Very, very beneficial. Social media is run, run, running the damn world now. Running the world. Social media has the power, guys, to, uh, to block our ex-president from, from all of the platforms, from using all the platforms. <laughs> Wasn't he blocked from using Twitter, blocked from using Instagram, blocked from using all the stuff? Social media has the power to do that. So, you know, social media is powerful. So uh, that's another thing that I would definitely say for all you youngsters out there to take serious, take your content 
and build on your content and do it every, every single day. Do stuff every, every, every single day, multiple times a day if you have time to do it uh, um, and take the end, you know, gather the energy to do it because it's that serious. All right. Be disciplined about it. All right. And I think that wraps us up. I think that's going to wrap us up for today. I appreciate you guys, uh, your questions and your guys' love. Thank you. We'll be doing more of these, more uh, day in the life stuff, more uh, lifestyle stuff, guys. And we're going to have your, your pancakes um, shirts coming out real soon. We're going to be doing some cheat meals. We're going to be doing some cheat meals involving pancakes. And we're just going to have some overall fun. All right. So um, this is the Black Swan, Breon Ansley. Guys, thank you so very much. Love y'all and see y'all on the next video.